He's a phenomenal player. It was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, incredible skill level and, and uh, intelligence on the court. Great playmaker score. Um, so, you know, he gives their team a lot of confidence as well, I think. So, uh, you know, they're capable of beating anybody any night. And, uh, you know, the way we've been going, it's a big game for us. And we got to find a way to try to slow them down. Steve, how devastating a loss when you found out Jordan Hill was done for the season? Jordan's a big loss for us. You know, he's, uh, he's been a real bright spot, I think, this year. I also think, you know, he's emerged as someone that really could fit into the offense well, you know, with his um, mobility and speed, um, you know, his ability to, to shoot, but also to, to run the floor, pick and roll to the basket. Um, you know, he just plays hard. You know, you know, guys that are big and play hard in this league are so valuable. And to lose him, we lose depth, we lose size, but we also lose a real energy guy, you know, who's capable of some things as well. You mentioned a bright spot. A name that would come to my mind would be Earl Clark. Earl's, uh, you know, he's, he's a little bit undersized for the four or the five spot, but he plays so hard he makes up for it. And he's got a pretty good skill level, you know. But, but most impressive for me about Earl is he works his butt off. You know, he comes in early, he works on his game regardless of the fact that he wasn't playing. And uh, you never know what happens in this league, and he gets a shot and all that work and all that time, keeping a positive attitude, you know, it's paid off for him is, uh, you know, I think, you know, we feel pretty fortunate now to have a guy like that, whereas, you know, he wasn't even getting a chance to play, uh, you know, a week ago. You finished, you finished the first quarter on an 11-0 run, um, tied at 25, late second quarter. How did that game get away? You know, I think there was uh, a bit of everything, you know. Um, uh, a missed assignment on Durant, uh, I think a turnover for a layup, uh, you know, and then, you know, overall it was like a little bit of everything. And, 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 but I think some of them were correctable, you know. If you look at the night, I think our defense wasn't as bad as it appears. They just are pretty talented at every position, a little bigger than us in every position, and we had a hard time, you know, coping with them. But, you know, I think technically it wasn't as bad. But, uh, you know, when we switch off for a couple minutes like that, a team like that just explodes on us and we can't catch up. He learned some of his work ethic. We were talking about a little while ago from watching you when he was young. Mm. Well, that's nice. I mean, if I, if I can help in any way, that's great. But, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, guys still got to get out there and sweat and, 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 you know, have the discipline not only to make a plan for themselves and get in early and stay late, but to, to put the work in and sweat. And uh, it's not an easy thing to form those habits. So, you know, it's, it, all the credit goes to him for that. Jim Buss said the other day in an interview where he won Pow to get more close touch until he comes back. And Mike Santoni said yesterday that we're going to change you know, we got to change everything at this point, you know, or just be open to it. How much does getting Pow involved come fall on you? In your, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I'm going to try to get Pow involved. Obviously, I think he's a terrific player. I think when we played together recently, there was a lot of opportunities where they would jump out on my pick and rolls. I'd get it back to him quickly, and he can be the playmaker in, in you know, four on three, three on two situations where he really thrives. You know, the fact of the matter is, it's it's tough to get inside to him when Dwight and him are on the floor together, you know. Um, to Powell's credit, he can stretch the floor more than Dwight, so, you know, he, he's and he's more of a playmaker, so sometimes he's going to find himself on the perimeter, you know. For me, I, I'd, you know, I think Powell is a, a tremendous basketball player, and I need to, to see him get his health and his confidence back, you know, because even when he has been inside this year, he hasn't looked very confident. So, you know, for me, I want to see him, you know, really feel better physically, mentally confident and, and enjoy the game. Because I don't know if he's, you know, been himself this year. And if we can get him back to himself, you know, it doesn't matter where he plays, he'll be great. Whenever Toy and Pound come back, what do you think is the best way to kind of maximize, you know, their skill sets and sure and how they coexist together? You know, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what's the best way to make them play together. But um, I know one thing is that they both got to just play hard and believe and, and not worry about, hey, how can we make this work? We just got to fight and scrap. On defense, use their length and, and athleticism on, on offense. You know, we all got to just be unselfish and sacrifice and make plays for each other regardless of where we are on the floor. Steve, do you feel like this team is marking time until those two guys come back? Well, I mean, I think, you know, big picture, yeah. I mean, we realize that we're, we're if they're out for the rest of the year, we're going to be pretty hard pressed to make the playoffs. But at the same time, the way our team's playing hard, guys are fighting, guys are coming together, I think. You know, I think this unit, although we haven't been successful, has had a little more spirit, you know, played with a little more energy and pace. And, you know, we're just maybe a little bit overmatched. You know, we got Rob playing center and, and no backup, and Earl playing, the, you know, the four and the five, Antoine playing the four and the five. 
you know, that, that's going to be tough most nights in the NBA. But the way we're playing, like as far as our spirit, the way we're sticking together, the way we're helping each other out, you know, the, the will and the want is there. Yeah, Steve, versus San Antonio in that last five and a half minutes, you held them a pretty good team, the Spurs, to five points. Is the defense coming along? I know it's not a full 48 yeah. minutes, and, and if so, what do you like about the defense of late? Well, I like the energy. Like I said, you know, we're a little over, over, oversized, undersized, you know, most nights, but the energy's there. Guys are trying. Guys are trying to, to be in the right spots. I think our defensive transition's getting better by the game, um, you know, but it, it's going to be tough, and we got to – Unfortunately, at this point, we got to play so hard with this unit to be good defensively because we are oversized. But guys are doing it; they're playing hard, and sometimes it's not working, you know. But uh, guys are playing hard, and, 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 and for me, that, that's that's what I want to see every day because I think in time you're going to improve. You play hard every night and compete. See, when you were with Phoenix and brought Shaq, you guys still were able to score a lot of points, and you were obviously able to figure out a way to use him to his maximum. Dwight's obviously a little more mobile than Shaq was at that time, but what are some of the um, difficulties in having a guy who wants to play down low and stationary rather than, you know, maybe move around a little bit more? Well, I mean, I think, you know, I think it's we all got to buy in, and we got to realize that it's not, you know, this is for the betterment of everybody, so it's not like, uh, you know, we don't want Dwight to get the ball low. We'd like the ball, Dwight to pick, roll, the ball to get swung and thrown to him with two feet in the paint so he can really punish a defender that's trying to recover to his body. You know, that Dwight, frankly, is bigger and more athletic than. You know, whereas, you know, when we go to him in the post and four guys stand and watch and every, every defender's in his track shoes, starter's blocks, ready to pounce on any time he dribbles, you know, that puts a lot of pressure on him. So we want to make the game a little easier for everybody. Um, you know, everyone be a threat to make each other better. And I think that's the way, you know, that we were able to do it before with Shaq and incorporate him and, and score the ball. But, uh, you know, right now it's just been a, a constant season. The one constant has been changed, and we haven't really gotten a chance to, to find that. You know, when Shaq came, it, we, we had a year and a half, you know, and it, 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 we had a half a season in training camp and a full season. And so... You know, there, it's a different scenario. And right now, we just got to find a way for all of us to just find a little bit of comfort. And what comfort we don't find, just give give of yourself to, to, to make your teammates better. Steve, a couple of weeks ago, it may have been when you all were playing Golden State, you mentioned having spirit and a togetherness. Um, does this team have that to make a run once you get all the technical things figured out? You know, it's forming. I think it's forming. Uh, you know, like I said, it's been hard because we don't have those common experiences. Um, we haven't had a lot of time with all the change to, to really get any good feelings about ourselves. And, and, you know, it's a work in progress. But the guys that are playing right now are really fighting and building and, and working together and, and patting each other on the back and, and talking and trying to hold each other accountable but be encouraging at the same time. When the guys that are hurt come back, we're going to need them to jump in and do the same thing. And, and give us that depth and talent that we're missing.